Let's talk taxes. That is, like you said, the elephant in the room. Uh, it's kind of one of the big three, so pension reform right. budget and potentially tax reform. Uh, the governor told me that he will probably introduce two budgets, one with tax reform and one without. Interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, because it seems like, you know, we are going to have a lot of funding issues. So do you think it'll be handled in the 2018 session or maybe after? And what would you like to see out of tax reform? You know, um, I will say from the town halls that I've done, not just this year, but in the ones in the past, when I've ever mentioned to constituents, eliminating state income tax, raising a sales tax, it's very fair for a consumption base that everyone, I usually never hear anyone shouting back to me, please don't do that. I hear many constituents supportive of that. I will say I'm not a tax expert at all. Uh, I don't have a background in accounting or anything along those lines. But at the same time, we know that we have to make some major, major changes to uh, an antiquated tax system in the state that has to be overhauled and looked at. Uh, but I think that's where we're going to lean on those that have the guidance and the expertise in these areas. I think it's looking at other state models that are around us. I think we always go back to what's Indiana doing and what's Tennessee doing and why aren't we doing it maybe right that they're doing. I also know that what we do is not going to maybe see an increase right away. It may take a couple of years or more to see things happen. Uh, but I do think tax reform, and I campaigned on that. I think it does need to be addressed uh, in this state. In terms of this session, with the budget being the big issue, um, I don't know if we can address comprehensive tax reform from January until April. It may be that we come back into a special session. It may be something that we just decide, to let's study it and let's spend a year on it. I think we've put so much time also into the pension and we've spent so much time studying that and kind of going back and forth on how we're going to do pension reform. I think tax reform has maybe hit the brakes a little bit during that time in the fall that maybe we weren't able to devote to that. Now, I know there's the, the governor's office has other people looking at that that are very smart, very capable of putting something together for us to look at. I am interested, like you mentioned, if there's two, one without and one with tax reform, of seeing what that's going to look like. Uh, but I think Kentuckians also know that tax reform is going to happen. Uh, but I think also at the same time when they hear tax, they're automatically saying, well, stop the brakes. But I think tax reform could be looked at in a way that says we're not raising property tax. We're not doing all these things that sometimes make people fearful when they hear that three-letter word.